Well, now to how the markets are um, faring in the West African space, starting with the BRVM. The BRVM 10 index closed trading at 232.49 points, up by 1.16%. Well, meanwhile, the BRVM composite gained 0.91% to close at 208.77 points. The total value traded on the day climbed to 221.05 million CFE francs. The currency for the region is trading at 510.17 against the U.S. dollar, putting its 2013 loss to 2.14%. 2 moving on to Ghana, the GSC Composite Index closed at 1,888.25 points, up 0.39%, and taking its year-to-date gain to 57.39%, while the GSC Financial Stock Index closed at 1,620.99, up 0.75%. The year-to-date change for that index stands at 55.9 percent well on to the currency front the ghana cd isn't changed at two um, cd and four pesos to the dollar that currency is down 6.9 percent this year and coming back here to Nigeria, the Nigerian All Share Index gained 0.31% to close at 37,128.40 points. The gainers were the likes of um, Mobile Air Service, IPWA, and um, Custody Insurance, while some of the losers were John Holtz, RT Briscoe, Red Star X, ABC Transport, and Advancement. Now, the year to date gain is now at 32.23%. Volume traded, however, dropped by 0.71% to 3.2 billion naira. And for more on the Nigerian markets going forward, I am now joined by Di from Diamond Bank, rather, with Adigwega Debajo is the head structured finance and advisory. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Gwega. Uh, in the three days of um, trading this week, the share price of Glasgow Smith Klein Nigeria PLC has crashed by six naira seventy kobo, at um, declining from six to seven naira to um, sixty naira thirty kobo. Now, in the proposed buyout deal, which is still um, subject to regulatory approval. UK-based um, GSK PLC is offering to pay 48 naira per share, and that's less than the current market value of 67 naira. Is this stock now overbought? And at what point do you think um, the stock, you know, um, um, the resistant level will step in? Well, um, perhaps, yes, you could say it's overbought. Uh, but if you do recall that uh, when the 48 naira price was set, the price of GSK on the market was below 48 and there was uh, about a 15% premium there, about 13-15% premium on the market price at that time. Um, what you then had was um, a lot of uh, managers, portfolio managers getting into the stock and uh, pushing up the price because of demand. What we're seeing now is an adjustment, um, but clearly this has put some form of spanner in the works and I think that's why we see a delayed approval. Um, some things may need to be reset, uh, so let's just see how the uh, regulatory uh, agencies and the advisors to GSK play this out. Um, clearly the market will um, adjust itself um, to whatever pronouncements are made. All right. Well, banks are actively traded on the burst. Now, would you say this is positioning, especially given the fact that some offshore funds have left the market? Well, yeah, I, I, I dare say so. Uh, with the offshore funds leaving, there are positions um, to be taken in those banks. Um, as you well know, for a number of banks, uh, half-year audits or half-year figures are pretty much important. Uh, some may be anticipating corporate action half-year, um, not too certain at this stage. But I do know that um, we're gearing up to see a lot of action uh, from the financial sector uh, as soon as the half-year audits are over. All right. So it may well just be the thing to take that position. Okay. Well, you know, as we all know, the consumer goods and conglomerates uh, make up the next two active sectors assigned to um, the banks. Now, what are your thoughts on that space as it stands right now? Well, you know, I've, I've always been um, inclined to consumer goods and conglomerates, uh, essentially because uh, the goods that produce are out there on the market on the retail space and they tend to be able to adjust their, their retail prices to what's happening with inflation and their costs, you know. But uh, I, I guess in a way we're starting to see some kind of resistance, um, um, especially as you have the composite price index rising, even if we're saying year on year inflation is dropping. Mm -hmm. And um, perhaps analysts are just wondering how much in terms of sales um, are these uh, companies gonna make at the end of the year? Um, out there, it's, it's, it's a totally different take. Um, and there we, therefore, we see some kind of slowdown in terms of appreciation of those stocks. But nevertheless, they tend to be 
um, good stocks to have uh, in any portfolio. Well, 